Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. It's actually Mother's Day today um, and I've just crept upstairs to do a bit of filming. I really wanted to get this video up today, which is obviously Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to because we have um, my family coming around and then we're going to see Rick's mum and his family later on. Um, but I just wanted to get it filmed anyway, it might go up tomorrow. Also, I just want to say, sorry if I sound really nasally and like, I, I just lure, blah, blah, basically, because I've got a bad cold. Um, so that's why I sound like this, um, and it might not sound that pleasant throughout this video. But, I do, crazily enough, have a Primark haul for you. You may have seen in our last vlog, I went into Primark, so... Obviously I had to show you what I got. I can't believe I'm doing another one of these already, to be honest, because I did a huge haul. I don't even think it was a month ago. But I think it's because, I don't know, I think it's where, where I'm pregnant. I get into that stage now where I feel a bit like, ugh, yuck in everything. So buying some new bits and pieces just makes me feel a little bit better. That's my excuse anyway. But let's just get into it. As I just showed you, I've got two huge bags. Um, this is actually from two trips, mainly from the one in Canterbury that we vlogged um, and a little bit of Lakeside as well, which is in Essex. Um, so I'm just going to start anyway. So I've got quite a lot of pyjamas recently. I don't know if it's because, again, where I'm pregnant, I just feel like I have a bit more... Um, <laughs> bit more right to just be in pyjamas more I, I don't really know but I just I love Primark's pyjamas and pyjamas are such a big thing I don't know if you've noticed but like ASOS and River Island and all the high street stores have got beautiful like silky pyjamas they're everywhere um, and I just love them Primark have like caught up with the trend and they are running with it the first thing I got was this little shirt I hope you can see it properly, it might be a bit washed out. Um, it's pinstripe and then it has a pink pink piping around the neck, the collar and the sleeves. It has a little pocket that says love um, and I just think it's really cute. It's quite long so it's like a shirt dress that you could just wear on its own. It was only £8 and I just think that's going to be really comfy but also it looks really nice and stylish as well and it has little pale pink buttons so the next thing is another sleep shirt which i thought was really cute um it's a bit creased up and one sleeves down one sleeves up um, but you can roll up the sleeves and they're just really nice and cozy to relax around the house in obviously you can wear them with pajama bottoms or they're quite long so you can wear them on their own this was 12 pounds and it's this really nice sort of heavy almost like a linen material i don't know how to describe it but it's really nice um, pinstriped and also I think it's good for like new mums that are feeding their babies as well um, I'm probably not doing it justice right now but it's just a really nice cosy comfy piece for lounging around the house and I just think it does look more expensive than it is and then this one I really love it it's just simple it's grey this is more of a cotton material similar to the first one I showed you in the sense that it has piping all around it um, in white and it's very very soft and I just think it looks quite like it looks like something you would get from the white company or something like that um, but for a fraction of the price and this one was eight pounds they're just long and cozy and great for lounging around the house um, but also like trying to look a little bit stylish at the same time also for loungewear I picked up these which I have not seen before, but they are so, so, so super soft. They're these blush pal pink um, jogging bottoms. They're quite lightweight, but they feel so soft, like almost like a fleecy, velvety soft. Um, and they are £8 with little white drawstrings. So again, these are just perfect for wearing around the house if you just want to be cosy and comfortable with a little like strappy top or jumper if it's cold um, but I think I'll probably be getting a lot of use out of these um, they did have a few more colours but I really like these so I grabbed those and I just thought they were really cute still on the pyjamas <laughs> I feel like I may have got slightly too many and it looks like I'm never going to leave the house again but seriously when pyjamas are this cute then why would you? I found this robe which first of all I was just like oh my god goodness this is beautiful 
um, I love the colour. They do a whole pyjama set in this range, which, surprise, surprise, you might see in a second. So it's this beautiful, they call it blush pink, and it's just the perfect pink satin um, nightdress, which I do not need any more of these. I have, I can see them on the back of my door. I have like four or five. I have an obsession with them. But it just looks so stunning, and it has this um, eyelash lace detail all around the edge. And this was £10. And I bought something very similar from Boo Avenue uh, for our wedding, like as my, my like um, dressing gown. And it just says Mrs. on the back, like that's the only difference really. And it's got lace on it and stuff. Um, and that was like £50 and this was £10. And they do all of this in white as well, which would be perfect for a bride. And maybe these would be really nice for bridesmaids. But they're quite hard to track down, literally. I was really lucky to find this, but a few other bits I just couldn't get in my size. Um, and obviously I didn't need the white one as well, because I have the white one from the wedding, so I didn't get that. They do the top, and I had to get this in quite a large size, because it's all they had. But wear their pyjamas, it can, you know, they're quite forgiving. You can get them in larger sizes if you need to, and just like make the strap shorter, which is what I did. So they match perfectly. Um, and the back is like a cutout back, so these are going to be really nice for the summer. Um, and they also do the shorts with the eyelash lace on the bottom, and these little uh, rose gold like drawstring ties. So they've just thought of all the little details. Um, the top is five pounds, and the shorts are five pounds also I probably would have got like all of this in a medium if they had it in a medium but literally I think everything is in a different size from small to to large um, and the final thing I got in the set which I think is everything you can get are the pajama bottoms so they're really cute as well and they have the eyelash fringing on the on the sides and the little rose gold drawstring. So they've literally just, I've, I've been looking for a pair of pajamas like this for so long and I'm so glad that Primark have kind of got on the bandwagon and done them basically and these were seven pounds. So really, really inexpensive when you think what you would pay for a set like that in Victoria's Secret or um, Boo Avenue, like anywhere that sells nice quality pyjamas and they feel really nice as well. Okay, last pyjama item, I promise. I've kind of like separated this into pyjamas, underwear, some baby stuff and clothes lastly and shoes. Um, just because I thought that would be easier. So it looks like just everything's pyjamas but I'm nearly done, I promise. I picked this up which is a night dress. It's grey with kind of a white or cream flower design on it. The reason I got this is when I was getting everything ready for my hospital bag with Archie, I got two night dresses from Primark. Loads of people suggested them because obviously they're cheap, but they're nice quality, they feel nice, um, and they're just like an easy, simple thing to wear in labour, basically. I actually didn't even end up wearing it in labour because Archie was born so quickly, um, but I did wear it afterwards in the hospital and I bought two blue ones, which I still have. So I'm thinking of taking one of them in, the one that I wore. I thought I would pick up a new one as well, and this was only £4.50. And they're just quite big, quite comfortable, and obviously um, they have the buttons on the front as well. And also randomly, I don't even remember picking two of these up, but I pinked, pinked up. I picked up two like um, strappy vests, both in different sizes. I must have just picked two up off the hanger because they're so like thin um, without realizing it, but I'm sure I will wear them anyway. They're just black um, like camisole tops, um, very stretchy with a lace detail around the top, and they're three pounds, so I just picked those up. Yeah, quite simple. Next up is Rather a lot of underwear. I don't think it's that weird to show underwear in haul videos anymore, is it? It kind of used to be, but I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. So this is the first set that I got, which I thought was really, really pretty. Floral, pale pastel colours. Um, it's got the little lace details on it, which I really like. And the bra is £8. I just thought that was a really nice set. And this bra is <laughs> mega padded. Really, really padded. Um, but I really like it. I thought that was lovely. So pretty. 
this set I've seen like on Instagram so much, which is obviously the reason to buy underwear, isn't it? But um, they've just, I don't know, they've got such, so many nice pieces at the moment. So this is the bra. It looks like this and it's in a really pretty dusky blush pink and the bottoms um, and I just I think they look so cute with the lace detail um, three pounds for the bottoms and eight pounds for the top and they've obviously been inspired by quite high-end designer underwear brands um, but I think they're really good um, options if you don't you know want to spend like hundreds of pounds on one set of underwear um, I also got the white version of it, again the, the top is £8, I'm not sure if I picked up the bottoms or if I've lost them or forgot to pick them up in some way, but that's the top, so you can get those in those two colourways, I don't know if anywhere has any more, but that's what I've seen in the Primarchs that I've been in. Next up is this set, and look at that, that's just the prettiest thing ever, I can't believe that I found these in there, um, they're pale pink and cream lace. They have little rose gold where they kind of where you have the little hardware on bras and things and the adjustable straps. They're all rose gold. Um, I just think they're so sweet. I love them. And again, the top is ten pounds, and the bottoms were six. So obviously, all of this underwear is more expensive than your average sort of Primark underwear set. But the design details are so pretty. And again, if these were in like a higher end underwear like lingerie shop can you imagine how expensive they would be so i love them a couple more sets to show you i wish they were all on hangers but they're not this is a really cute pink floral set um i love the pink and blue flowers on this one God, bras are really hard to hold up and show these ones are again eight pounds this one, this is the bra, which has a really unusual back. It's all in lace, as you can see, gorgeous. And again, eight pounds. So most of the bralettes tops are eight pounds. And then the underwear is kind of the same, three pounds. So yes, quite a lot of underwear there, but I just couldn't resist. When it's all kind of out and together, I just can't make my mind up, I can't decide. So yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't pick this stuff up because I just really love it. But where I do these Primark hauls and it kind of gives you a chance to see what's in the stores maybe before you've had a chance to go in that month or that season or whatever, there's just such a beautiful array of pyjamas, lingerie, underwear. Um, so I thought I would give you a good look at the kind of things that you can get at the moment. And as I've said about 10 times now, Primark have really up their game recently, so it's really beautiful. I'm going to go on to a couple of things that I got for the baby. So I don't know whether it's because I know how quickly they grow up or what it is, but I really want to dress this baby like a baby and not like a mini toddler or, or child. And I found some really lovely things in Primark. The first thing is this little set, and it's kind of like a, just a knitted cream top with a little lamb on the front and stripy cream and grey bottoms which I just thought was adorable it's in size newborn which goes up to £10 um, and it was £9 that's confusing, £10 in size £9 in price um, and I just thought, oh it's got little stars on the elbows, like elbow patches and that was just quite classic I thought and very cute and then I found this little cardigan which I thought was adorable it's such a lovely quality, um, it's all knitted with wooden buttons, um, it's fully lined as it says there with this very soft cotton star print and it has a hood with ears and I'm obsessed with anything like hats with ears at the moment um, which I just think are adorable. So this is up to one month which again is the £10 size um, which I think is quite a good size to get. I mean, they, they're not going to stay in it for that long, which is such a shame, but, I mean, it gives you a little bit of a chance for them to wear it. Unless this baby's going to be £10 then. I don't actually know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, if Archie's anything to go by, then he won't be £10. But this was, in price, £8. Oh, I sound awful. I'm so sorry. I thought it was about time I picked up a little pack of hats and scratch mitts because we obviously got rid of all of Archie's scratch mitts and 
the majority of these tiny hats as well. Um, these ones also have the little ears. You get a plain grey and then white or cream with silver or grey stars and then matching scratch bits. Um, and that pack is £2.80. So, you, you know, again, just really classic colours. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, all babies need to wear hats when they're coming out of hospital, whether they it's like the summer, winter, whatever. So, picked those up. And then I found this, which I wasn't expecting to pick up at all. Um, I believe it's like, a, obviously, a changing bag. It's so cute. It's grey, white polka dots. It has little pockets on the side. I haven't actually properly looked through it all yet, to be honest. It has a big pocket on the front. But I picked it up because I thought it would be the perfect bag um, for the baby stuff to take to hospital. Um, if I go to hospital. More about that in another video. It comes with a changing mat as well, which is pretty cool. And there's loads of pockets in there. Oh, it also comes with, like, a clear, like, Ziploc pouch. So... For the price which was 12 pounds that is amazing that's such a bargain and it's it's not that like oil cloth material because it's not sort of wipe clean but it feels a bit like that i don't know it's just a nice quality and i think that will definitely come in handy it also has these which go onto um, a stroller if you have the right clips just little things like that. I think it's it's amazing. Twelve pounds, um, and whether you're having a boy or girl, you could use that. So that is, I think, a really good option for a baby bag for hospital or even a changing bag after. Okay, I'm just looking at the time, and this is getting ridiculously long. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is cut this into two parts and put the second part up tomorrow with all of the fashion stuff because I still have a whole bag to get through. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do. So I'll say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please press the bell button below for notifications of when I make a new video. For example, when the next Primark haul part two goes up, you'll be notified straight away um, and you can watch it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Um, I'll see you very soon. Bye.